Hello everyone, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Uh, it's five o'clock in the afternoon and I want to give you a little solar panel update by popular request. I get a lot of, a uh, lot of requests for solar panel uh, updates and I had not been doing it for a while because I had a lot of complaints because I was doing a lot of solar panel updates. Yes, I listen to my viewers, but guess what? So do the TV networks. That's why there's no new shows in summer. That's why you get boring reruns and then you come here so you can interact with me and complain about me doing or not doing whatever I do at the time I'm doing it. So, welcome to my channel and the interaction and fun that I allow you to have because I am working in the summer and the TV networks know that you are not indoors watching TV in summer. Uh, yes, the TV networks do pay attention to feedback from the viewers, and so do I. Uh, it is wise business choice, regardless what anybody says. So, that having been said, based on popular demand, solar panel updates. I'll give you a walk around and show you what's going on here. Right now we have only 235 watts coming in at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, that's bad but that's because the sun is just about going to be down over the uh, tree line I have to hurry this up or I might miss out on actually showing you what's going on and we have a partly cloudy situation so I do not have full sun um, summertime here by the way I have more rain than I have sun because I am in the rainy season right now so I do not have as good of solar production as you would have I am also surrounded by trees, therefore my solar panel output is reduced greatly, whereas your solar panel output should be way, way, way better. Um, standard normal homes have way less trees and uh, less restrictions and not a mountain in the way. So then having been said, let's go to the data log and we'll see what we've been doing recently on the solar panel output. Um, we have here pretty horrible on the absorption recently it has been raining a lot oh, somebody texts me as I'm talking on the uh, computer on the camera I uh, have had pretty pitiful uh, output recently I'll show you we go down here to the watt hours that's uh, this this line right here I've only had 890 watts today it was dark and gray that's total usable watt hours today. Um, yesterday was mostly sunny though. I did have 2,700, but I'm averaging 2,000 to 2,400 in a day recently. Not a lot of power. There's good days and bad, but again, I am in my rainy season. You may notice that I have less power now than I did in the spring when I moved the solar panels into better sunlight position. Now, what's going on here is the rainy season. And I can't emphasize that enough. This is the rainy season. And I have more clouds than I have sunlight right now. It's almost as bad as winter time in my rainy period where I have nearly daily rain and a lot of clouds. Today we had a mega thunderstorm. Now the sun is sort of shining, which is good because I need the power. So um, again, I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm not worried. My my laptop stays on all day. I am continuously when I take my breaks because we have extreme heat and humidity, and it's been in the 90 to near 100 degree temperatures with um, above 90% humidity on an average day since May, which is pretty brutal and there's something wrong with the weather this year. Wrong. I read it could be El Nino causing a hotter summer, which would give us a milder but wet winter, which I think would be sort of pleasant, although I put a lot of precautions into place for a colder winter. And uh, yeah, we'll see. It'll make my first year in my greenhouse better which I will be building. So, there's the solar panel production as we stand. Not too hot, 
But, oh yeah, I was starting to tell you, my laptop is always on, my inverter is never off, my modem is never off, okay? My battery, let me go back to the live view, well, it won't show you now, but my battery, the forklift battery, remains at about 12.1 volts, 12.2, 12.4 volts after the sun goes down. Nothing I can do about it. I think there is something wrong with the battery. I haven't been talking about it or complaining about it. I do maintain it, and I do top off the water regularly. But, oh, my generator's about to fail. Hold on. Uh, just to show you, I have it at 75 degrees and 75% humidity indoors right now because the generator was running. Today is a very mild and pleasant day, only 89 degrees at 70% humidity. I say mild and pleasant because recently, like I said, it's been above 90s, near to 100. Yesterday was uh, 98 degrees, um, but still it makes you sweat rivers of water, literally, um, when you're outdoors sitting still. So it's pretty intense out there. Um, this is how it's been since May. Um, we had some rain today, although my um, rain gauge does not show a thing, which is odd. And I think that the Gadget brand rain gauges are not very good. So I would not advise buying them. They don't seem to be very good at all. And maybe one day I'll get a different weather station. Sorry, Goliath man, but um, I don't know what it is about the rain gauges here. Everything else is great and uh, works well but that rain gauge just doesn't hold out well I can live without it for now maybe next year and what I was about to say I have the air conditioner running once a day to try to bring the humidity down in this house my tiny house on wheels or everything will rot and turn to mildew 75 percent is high is very bad and at night it gets up to in the 90 percent range in here so I'm going to have to get a dehumidifier right away uh, to prevent rot and, and uh, mildew in my tiny house on wheels. Now, let me explain my solar panel setup here. I have two sets of solar panels, and it's very, very hard for you to under understand. I know it's very hard to understand, but um, I have a very narrow range of sunlight reaching my house. A very, very narrow range here of sunlight reaching my house. An average home gets sunlight all day long from morning till afternoon or till, till evening from sunrise to sunset. They get some solar power on their panels during that period. I'm surrounded by trees, so I have a very reduced solar panel production. I have reduced sunlight hours, extremely reduced. Again, this is not your typical situation. Do not be discouraged from getting solar because of my situation. My situation is not normal. Most people are not surrounded by trees and ha under a mountain. So before it's too late, over here, look, the weeds are out of control. I gotta start cutting them because it is uh, rainy a lot. Um, and look, they're blocking the solar panel. Now those weren't like that a couple days ago. Now these solar panels are in the afternoon sunlight, which is going to end right quickly. There's a shade creeping over within minutes. I will no longer have um, direct sunlight. Well, this is indirect sunlight anyway, because the the panels are here. All right, so in the sun, so the panels are pointing here, and the sun is over here. And it's going to be gone in a few minutes below the tree line. Now over here, my panels in front, up behind the RV, receive uh, late morning to midday sunlight. So there is 600 watts of solar panels that receives late morning to midday sunlight. After that, they're in the shade, okay? And that's why I have two sets of 600 watt solar panels. I have a couple more solar panels, one which is defective and one be not being used, two, three not being used. Wait, one defective and two not being used. But that's because um, right now the situation is I need another charge controller in order to capture more solar. Because my charge controller stops at 800 watts. Now, that's why I have three sets of 600. Because with 800 watts I was seeing a peak and I was seeing alarms and uh, resets on my solar charge controller. Because these are, um, they're, they peak over, over 200 watts at times. 
So I was seeing overage and it wasn't working out for me. So with 600 watts total, I'm seeing more overall daily output. So less is better in this case with only one solar charge controller. A second solar charge controller, I'll really be doing well. So eventually I will be getting another solar charge controller. Um, not worried about it right at this time, but probably before winter I will have to do so. So anyway, I hope that explains to you why and how I have my solar panels set up how I do and how I'm well I'm doing for energy. And just as a uh, reminder, I'll show you my uh, RV, rather, my main um, forklift battery bank. Okay, I have the forklift batteries under a tarp with boards on top, and it has protected it quite well throughout the winter and the spring and summer. Um, I do top off the water once a week. It uses half a gallon a week of distilled water. Um, forklift batteries pack a lot of power but they boil off their water fast they really lose their water fast even with normal solar panels charging them at lower current so I will be building a house out here it is one of the next big projects after the chicken fence and electric fence is done uh, then comes siding the house and then comes building the big porch which wraps around the back side here and will enclose the batteries and my rainwater collection which will be moved over here as well. And uh, that's part of the reason I haven't set up the rainwater collection. I've got to move the move this big storage tent out of the way so that I have room uh, to put the rainwater collector next to the batteries so that I can build a porch which wraps around here to cover and protect everything. So now I'm melting. I'm going to go back inside where it's still relatively lower humidity and uh, get back to work on the computer. So hopefully that explains my solar panels and my uh, off-grid solar power production and how I'm doing right now and the limitations of it and why. Actually, can you see that humidity? I don't know. Can you see how gray it is in the air? That's humidity. I know it's uh, the sun is... Um, glancing on the uh, or whatever camera but see it's really really humid it's dense in the air it's almost foggy and that's how it's been here um, pretty much so well try to do it yourself world in the off-grid project talking about the solar panels and solar power production here please subscribe and like and share although you don't see the likes and dislikes uh, I do. I do believe YouTube uses it to rank. And uh, please do subscribe. Watch my daily videos here at the Off-Grid Homestead. See you later.